of the franchise store that I was gonna buy my boss's sister about I don't know the beginning of this year she had called me and asked me if I was interested in buying her store she wants to sell it again and I was like fuck no I'm not doing business with you or your family ever again there's just no fucking way I didn't say it exactly like that but that's the way I remember it <laughs> So she sold her store and the whole time I was saying, oh, she's going to come work here. She's going to come work here. You know, she's, she's his sister. She'll come work here. Everybody's like, no, no, no. Even the owner's like, no, she's not working here. Well, she's here and she's working. It's like, and she owned her own store and she acts like she has no idea what the fuck to do. She's watching everybody to make sure, you know, she knows how to do everything. It's like you own your own fucking store. How do you not know how to do this? We do things a tad bit different, but not really. You know, it's just, the whole time the owner is basically giving his sister shit being kind of brutal about stuff personal stuff too just blurting it out eventually they're gonna butt heads and start fighting and it's only the first day I can see it coming a mile away nobody believed me it's whatever I'm gonna sit back and eat my popcorn and watch the shit hit the fan the owner keeps sending his sister on these stupid errands just to get her out of the store. He gave her six dollars and told her to go to the bank and get rolls of pennies. So he's just fucking with her, sending her away to go do dumb shit to get her out of the fucking store because he's already sick of her. This ain't gonna last. I mean, I get it, she's family, but you know, just say no. Just say no. You cannot work here. So I just delivered to this allergy center and um, I was talking to the lady about my allergies and whatnot while I was waiting for the other lady to come up and sign the credit card. And I was like, yeah, I've been using that Flonase since Tuesday and <clears throat> you know, it seems to be working pretty good. And I was like, it's easier to remember to take. You know, it's not a pill where I would forget. I was just like, you know, there's this weird side effect there. It's just really weird. She's like, well, what is it? I was like, every time I spray it in my nose, the University of Louisville scandal gets worse. <laughs> she got kind of pissed. <laughs> she was wearing a U of L t-shirt. That was <laughs> the lady behind her. <laughs> start rolling just rolling she's like I'm gonna recommend that so-and-so doesn't tip you <laughs> she tipped me seven dollars but it was so fucking funny I'm a hater can't help it my next delivery is to this hair salon I probably won't get a tip. Which surprises me too, because these people, they work for tips. You know, for the most part. You would think they would fucking tip the person that brings them food. So I delivered to the hair salon, and you know, I walk in. The lady's like, oh, it's for me. And I was, hey, hey, how you doing? And she says, I'm black. How are you doing? I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to respond to that? You know, are you saying it because it's a bad thing? Or are you saying it because it's a good thing? I don't know what you're trying to fucking say here. And it's, <laughs> it's, I'm stuck, you know. 
I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm doing good. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? It's just like, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Oh man. I should have said, oh, I'm white. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ. Whatever. <laughs>